I may it's very knack. This is XDA Developer TV, and you don't know it, but this is the new Hacks Lodger. <laughs> So the Hacks Launcher is created by R2 Does Inc. This uh, little tiny, tiny little child over here. And the whole the whole point of of the Hacks Launcher is to give people a, a new way of interacting with uh, the home screen on Android. So uh, we started out with um, well, a start button. It's kind of like on a desktop. And that fills up this nifty little menu. So uh, along here you can you can scroll up and down your preferred apps um, to add your preferred apps here. You just drag them to the desktop, drag them down to the dock, and then they start to appear. If we do that a bunch of times, let's say this one, and... Uh, oh, Angry Bird Space. Yeah. And I'm just going to drag these all down to that dock. And this is how you populate your quick apps right there in the menu. So what you have along the bottom here is however many open apps, running apps that you, you have, and then you have a cached list of uh, your recent apps. So if you actually want to close the programs that are running, you will have to enable root. And if you go through and clear all of these, even if it's the ones that are cached, uh, what ends up happening is once you reload uh, by going into apps and just run something, oh, look at that, that's Chainfire's app. Ain't it pretty? It repopulates that list, and these are all just recent. It's from the cache. They're just recent apps. They're not running apps. If you don't have root enabled, and you swipe up, there is a an option. It does do something. It tries to close it, but it doesn't always have the uh, the ability to close it. All right, so what we wanted to do was bring more of a, a desktop feel to Android, but at the same time, we like a whole lot of elements of uh, Windows Phone. So you see with the tiles and all that, but it still maintains that holo feel. So when you first get the launcher downloaded and installed. It's it's going to look like this, and you press this open. There's not going to be anything there except for uh, these three different options. All apps, obviously, as we've seen, brings you to uh, the app drawer. Search takes you to a search menu thing. So if you start typing here, it starts populating. Under settings, you have uh, your system settings, which, I mean, we're all familiar with here. That's uh, just that. And then you've got a list of toggles. And then you've got the launcher settings right there. If you open up that, go in here, you have a whole lot of uh, egotistical information about R2 Does Inc. Um, in here, panel shiz, you have uh, the lists of uh, the live panels that uh, are running. So if we go in here, this one, we're just going to enable that, close that, open it up again. We've got that live panel right there. Now, the live panels all display along here, it's scrollable, uh, and this is an open API for which you can write simple little apps that uh, that plug into the launcher itself. And Ken, or R2, does Inc., has actually, this is the hacks.org, yeah, it's an X, because he doesn't know how to spell. And if we go under projects here, applications, hacks launcher, oh my god, hacks plugins. R2 does Inc. has put a great little tutorial here on how to make a very, very simple panel for yourself. The launcher itself and all of the, the example panels that Ken has are uh, all open source. You can compile them yourself or modify them however you want. I mean, basically, it's a, it's a really awesome tutorial. I provide code examples. If you do say so way. yourself. Yeah. No, it provides uh, code examples here on the thing, and then if you click on one of the links, like click the, the you know, scroll up just a little bit and click one of those links. One of these? Yeah. Okay. It'll take you to the full code example on the example plugin uh, repo. Like, this will show the full code example right here. Now, let me ask you a question, Ken. Why do you encourage people to rip you off? Um, I love open source. Without open source, I wouldn't be anywhere, so I do what I can to contribute back to the community. That's cool. I'm going to show how to install one of these right now. So I'm going to go into Hacks Launcher. I'm going to go down to More by R2 Does Inc. And these two right here are uh, examples of plugins. So I'm going to just go into the weather one. And in order to uh, enable it for the first time, once you have installed it, you're going to have to open it once. And you can just close it. Once you have gone into settings and launcher and panel shiz and enabled it. So going into settings here, I'm going to run through these real quick. The launcher settings. For the home screen, if you don't want that pesky search bar because you've already got a search 
in your uh, in your menu. You can turn that off if you want, or leave it on. Oh, it's your choice. Uh, for menu here, um, let's say, let's go back out. Right now, if we open this up, this tints a little bit, uh, but let's say that's just a little bit too annoying for me. I can't really read what's going on in the apps here, and you know, I'm, I'm not very good with associating pictures and words, so I want to do something about that. I'm going to go into settings. I'm going to go into launcher. Go back down to that menu. I'm going to choose a menu shade color, and here I can choose whatever color I want. You want pink? Let's do pink. That's more of a purple. Actually, I'm just going to turn up the opacity right there by tapping that. I tap that color, and like freaking magic, you got a nice pinkish, purplish overlay. So, last little bit here. We got push notifications. This is if you want Ken to just sit around annoying you all day long like he does me. Genius. So very much so the beta. Very we much should so. you should work with the Flash to get some nice icon packs. That's actually not a bad idea. I met the Flash. Is he here today? He actually has a giant plastic head. In real life. In real life. IRL. And his grill, like gloves. Gloves. I am so screwed, man. <laughs> Real quick, the uh, uh, this whole video is shot by Jerdog here. Thank you very much, kind sir. So handsome. Oh my god. So again, I'm Azri Knock, and this is XDA Developer TV.